Welcome back now, silly mortals. This is your cycle of joy, Rue. And let's enter this temple before I get hopefully a half key, which I am doing pretty much right now. So without further ado, let's go. -na 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 -na. I was too fast there, wasn't I? Oh well. So, what's this ominous music? We are now in the map, apparently. In a temple! Yes, that's right! So what are these jewel thingies? If you hit them, the blue block go down and the yellow ones go up. The color they are indicates the blocks that are down at the moment, which is important to note. And the first chest of the dungeon. What's in here? It's a shell horn! Now we can see the entire dungeon! Yay! Thanks, shell horn! And these guys are annoying, because they breathe fire! But not anymore. No, stay. stay. Thank you. Anyway, let's go up or down. Eh, let's go down first. And let's equip a boomerang because I'm having a pretty good feeling about this. Surely this is the way we have to go. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, I was right. How oh, very nice. I killed two for the price of one. Oh, God. And those red ones, if you miss them, they throw a bone at you. Throw me a bone, game. Never. So we have a key. What do we do with the key? Nothing yet, because we will first go right over here. Yes. Let's do this again, because this is mostly what you're supposed to do. I guess. I think I guess. These guys. You can theoretically kill them with your weapon, but... Oh. I was gonna say they take quite a beating, but eh, not so much. The annoying part, however, is that they knock you back when you hit them. But you are allowed to go into the next room. Ooh. Ow. Ow. You kinda hurt, man. Hurt, man! New Mega Man villain! But yeah, those guys aren't too difficult. You can also throw them in pits if you want to, and uh, that's a good way to kill them as well. So, this is the boss or which we can't access yet. So, let's just drop down, I guess. Eh, screw it. And we're back here. So, what way could we possibly go now? How about right over here? Hey, locked door, what are the odds? Uh, let's go down the stairs now, because Link is that awesome? Yeah, sure. And, oh god, it's this shit bullshit again. Tiles in your face. Attacking tiles. Uh, these are the true threat to every Zelda player. I hate these things so much. I had so much trouble with these as a child, and I honestly can't understand why, because this is such a potent strategy. Hey, seriously, look at it. They're not touching me. Not at all. I'm just poking them to death. Oh god. Never mind. I I'm sorry I made fun of you, Tile. Please don't kill me now. If you kill me now, you're gonna hit me in the face some more. And you had to do that because... Uh, what do you call it? The door opens. Yay, door! Thanks a bundle, Mr. Door. You are way too kind. And there's nothing in these pots. Aww. I call shenanigans. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Kill this one. Can we kill this one? Maybe we can. Well, we can. And we shall! Ha ha! Very, very nice indeed. Hmm. Ouch. Quit throwing things at me. You rude skeleton, you. That's why you died, because you were so damn rude. I don't like rude people in my skeleton-infested dungeon. So let's grab the lantern and let's light, light, light. Come on, baby, light my fire. That's a pretty quick big key. Oh well, we got the big key. Yay, big key. It's so big and key-ish. Key-like? Its, its features are very key-like, I guess. And this key is key to our survival! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, please don't punch me in the face. So flip the switch, because I think that will be important. And move up the stairs again. Also, could I have some fairies, please? Mama, could I have some fairies? I require them to live. And living is a good thing. And let's head over here. So with that, we come back to the third floor. Actually, how high is this place. Whoops. Apologies. Anyway, this gives me a good opportunity. No, wrong button. Opportunity to check the map. 
Wow, we go all the way to the sixth floor? Really? Damn! Wow, that sixth floor looks really funky. I wonder what's up with that. It's a really silly symbol they've got going there. I'm sure it won't be important at all. I'm sure that won't be some hellacious boss fight. Ah, uh, I wish. Oh well, we'll be fine. What's the worst that... Never mind. Forgot I, forgot I asked. So let's use the big key. You're playing with the big key now. And let's kill these dudes uh, for great justice, extreme prejudice, etc, etc, and poke you to death. Actually, have I demonstrated the other function of the boomerang yet? Boomerang yet? I don't think I have. Uh, I will. Once the game gives me the opportunity. Upper oh, that was not what I intended to do at all, game. Seriously. And then you, uh, you position it all wrong, game. Why must you be so cruel to me? Now I have to walk downstairs and flick the switch and move upstairs and cry and... Oh, really? Go, 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 Link! Take no prisoners! Run! Anyway, excuse me while I make my way back up to the next floor. Like an idiot. So, we're back here and let's try this again. Yeah, that's better. Let's move up the stairs to areas previously unexplored. Hmm. What is up here, Mr. Monster Infested Dungeon Thingy? Monster Infested Tower? Yes, a dungeon thingy. That's how I describe a tower nowadays. Ah, my powers of description are really deliciously bad, aren't they? Yes, they are, Hugo. Yes, they are. Hmm, I know. And I guess I apologize. So, a treasure chest! Yay! It's a compass! And with that, we can look into the dungeon soul, or whatever that said. Aww. Aww. But game? I want that treasure chest. Why must you be so cruel? Why must you toy with my feelings, game? I just want the treasure chest. Anyway, I have to show up what the boomerang does. Yes, with the boomerang, you can capture... You can grab items that are at a distance from you. Which is pretty useful. Ouch. Like so. Ha! Ah, yes, I didn't even have to get that rupee. The boomerang did it for me. Now that's what I call progress. So, as you can see, there's a big chest there. And it is possible to miss the big chest in this dungeon because it doesn't contain an item that's instantly useful. But you have what you have to do is you have to drop down here. Don't forget this item, however tempting it may be. And uh, open this, you get the moon pearl, which is a special item. As it says, uh, it, it protects, there we go, the hero from the effects of the golden, of transforming in the golden world. What that means is, Bunny Link is now officially passe. We don't need him anymore. Sorry, Bunny Link, but your days have come and gone. You're now obsolete. So let's take care of these guys, because they're following me. Why must you follow me, bumper gun? Ow, ow, you... Uh. Hate you. Hate you. Leave me alone. I'm gonna throw you in the pit. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, as you can see, the red variety has way more hit points than the blue variety does. Which makes it a bit annoying, you might say. Also, my alarm is going off in... Ah, I have plenty of time. Yeah, I have to call someone, so I set my alarm. Wow, pots really do a lot of damage. Pots really does a lot of damage. Hehehe, <laughs> pots. So the 6th floor, which is effectively the boss floor. And you remember what I said about the layout? This is why. If you fall down here, you have to repeat this entire boss. Is that fun? No, it's not. Is it fun with a horrible controller like the one I have? No, it's not. Oh, leave. No. Aha, I have no idea how I survived that, but I'll take it. Die, wormy guy. But the, prob the main problem with this fight is, if you, what do you call it? If you fall down a pit, he res his health resets. So yeah. Try not to fall down and do it as I did. I guess, because apparently that worked pretty well. We get a piece of heart. And the red spiritual stone of redness. Hmm, spiritual stone. It looks a bit like a ruby, which I suppose it is. So yeah, makes sense. The pendant of wisdom. So wait, red is wisdom? I always figured blue to be wisdom. Blue was Nairu, wasn't it? Green was courage? 
Yeah, red is Din, and Din is the guardian of... or the embodiment of power, if I'm not mistaken. Oh well, that's for some, some of you Zelda specialists out there to correct me with. I think I'm right though. So, let's see what happens now when we step into the mm, gate to the golden world. Yes, we keep our awesome little green hat itself. How oh, very cool indeed. And this guy's also impressed. What do you say? Haha, I'm not just a normal guy, no. In fact, I'm not even a guy at all. <laughs> Splot twist, Link is a man. No, a boy? I don't even know. So let's see what's different here. It's a fairy! Well, I guess that's different. And let's see what else is different here. Because now we can explore a ray to our heart's content. Exploring the countryside. Ouch. Sorry. So let's move over. Aw. I guess not. Oh well. So I guess we'll head down to Death Mountain. Yeah, sure. That sounds like an idea. There might be treasures along the way. Who's up for treasure? I am. Let's go then. Mmm, delicious treasure. Galore. And let's kill that bush and... That, that, yeah, it didn't register as me being inside the sign, but it might have. In which case it would have sent me back, but I'm not gonna show that. Because that's just tedious. So, what you have to do to leave Death Mountain, besides resetting the game, because that's the quickest way. But that's cheating. Well, not ne Yeah, in a way it's cheating, I guess. I'm gonna call it cheating. Sue me. Ouch. But there's a reason for coming down here, I think? I'm not entirely sure on that one, though. I think there's something in along this path, but I might be thinking of another area. And again, I might just be delirious. I mean, that has happened before. And let's carefully move down here and step down. Yes. Ah. Well, here's a ledge. There wasn't anything special here at all. Hmm, it's a bit annoying. Die, I stunned you, now I kill you. So yeah, now that we have all three of those sparky stones... Ah, huh, the map says we have to get the sword. Hmm, shall we? Shouldn't we tell the elder first? I guess it's fine. I guess they don't really need that sword anyway. Oh god, bees! Oh god, slow down! Spin attack, Link! Spin attack to your... Come on! Yes! Kill them all! Murder those stinging sons of peaches! Leave none alive! Nya, 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 nya. What are you doing? Hmm. Don't kill the tree, please. Mysterious fog has recently fallen all over the forest. Oh no, it's all over my forest! I was so fo proud of that forest too. Hmm, what's over here? Have I explored this yet? Oh, it's just a fairy. Oh, a piece of heart. Ah, how do I get that? I wonder. That's something we'll get later, and this time I do mean it, and not like I say that and five seconds later. Oh, here it is, never mind. This one we will get a bit later. Not too much, but a bit. So let's head into the Forbidden Forest again. We've been here to pick up a mushroom once. Ouch. Please let me enter the stump. There we go. And what's this? A game! I'm so... 100 rupees? No way in hell, son. That's way too expensive for your stupid game of chance. Oh, what's this? Is this a Master Sword? Hmm... No, it's not. Ah. Fake sword in your face! Yeah! Take that! Take my fake sword! Take it all! Oh god, I wonder how this area is gonna look in recording. Because, oh god, my recording software does some weird shit to areas. And with the fog and all, I hope you guys can see anything. Oh well, it should be fine. I'm not worried in the slightest. And let's head over here. Yes. Are we there yet? No, we're pretty close. We are very close indeed. So it should be true here. Hmm, but what, what is there? What was that? I think I saw something. Oh well. But what is behind this mysterious hollowed stump? Will we find the master sword of world of very vicious enemies? We will find out in the next episode. Because I'm scared now. So, with that, I bid you adieu. And thank you all for watching. And this LP has almost come to an end. Because when we get the master sword, we'll defeat the evil wizard. And we will win the game! There couldn't possibly be a catch, could there? Nah, we'll be fine. So, with that, bye now.